Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn how you can have equations that are not linear, how you will convert those equations into a linear form and solve them. So now let us look at a problem that we have right away. So we have solve this equation x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 equals 3 by 8. Now if you look at it, this left hand side over here, it has, you know, algebraic expressions in both the numerator and denominator and this makes it a non-linear equation. Now how do you solve it? So we have to convert it into a linear which means we do not have any variable in the denominator. We need to get rid of this term somehow 2x plus 3 and you know just see that we have x only in the numerator. That's one way to look at it. Now uh, of course uh, non-linearity means much more what, what, what do we mean non-linear and that is not something that we are going to cover it in the scope of this discussion but in, in this particular case it is just having this denominator 2x plus 3 is what makes it non-linear and for our purposes it would be sufficient to know that if we somehow get rid of this 2x plus 3 from the denominator then we should then we'll have a linear equation now how do you proceed further to solve these type of equations? Now first I'm going to show you the longer way and because that will lead you to the shorter way. So the longer way is we can use the methods of you know multiplying that we have learned. Now how do I get rid of this 2x plus 3? Well what we could do is we could multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side by this term 2x plus 3 by this expression 2x plus 3 which will cancel that out. So what we do as a step first, the first step that we are going to do is multiply both the sides, that is x plus 1, 2x plus 3, multiply that by 2x plus 3. And remember that we need to multiply this 2x plus 3 by both the left hand and the right hand sides just so that the equation is balanced into 2x plus 3. Okay, this is a longer way. Now, this gets cancelled out over here and we have x plus 1 equals 3 by 8 into 2x plus 3. Now, we could also get rid of this 8 over here in the denominator by multiplying both the left hand sides and the right hand sides by 8. So, we have 8 times x plus 1 equals 8 times 3 by 8 into 2x plus 3 and therefore this 8 cancels out and now we have a simple equation over here so what we have is 8 times x plus 1 equals 3 times 2x plus 3 so this is what we have got and this is now a simplified form. You can simplify this further and do the usual operations uh, of transposing and addition subtraction that we have done to solve this equation. Now this was the longer method. Okay, The shorter method, if you look at it, is this equation. Let me just write it or, or we'll do it on the next one. So we have x plus 1 by 2x plus 3 equals 3 by 8. Now if you look at these two quantities, these are actually in proportion and we know that this cross products will be equal. right? So what you can do is straight away use the cross products. Okay, This is the simpler method. So the simpler method is just take the cross, cross product that is 8 times x plus 1 equals 3 times 2x plus 3. That is all what we have done. And if you look at it, it is the same that we got by this longer method. But we did the longer method just so that we understand how it, how, how, how what's the basic working of the method, right? So let's go here. So we, so, so next time onwards, you could use this shorter method. No need to go through the longer steps, but it's, it's useful to know how did we come across this method. Now let's, let's just proceed to solve this further and simplify. So 
multiply 8 with x so we have 8x and then 8 times 1 is 8 then again we multiply this 3 by 2x and we also multiply this 3 by 3 so 3 times 2 is 6x plus 3 times 3 is 9 now we just put the variables from the right hand side to the left hand side and the constants from the left hand side to the right hand side we transpose so we have 8x minus 6x here and towards this side we have 9 minus 8 or we have 2x equals 1 or dividing both the sides by 2 we get x equals 1 by 2 so this is the solution to the earlier equation okay so that was about how we can reduce a nonlinear equation to a linear equation and solve it and you could check for the solution the correctness of the solution by substituting the value of x is equal to one half in the original equation here and you would see that the left hand side would equal to right hand side.